as usual, we have some wonderful animals for you to see and decide that you're totally in love with and come here and uh, arrange to take them home with you. Not immediately, but we, you know, so please do that because it's what we're here for. Um, and you've got Paul behind the camera, Ross in front of the camera, James here, and this is Charles. And James is going to tell us a little about Charles. He, he's very shy, so I'm trying to keep my distance to him. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. This is Charles. He's a tree walking coonhound. Tree walking coonhound. A tree walking. I tree mean, why walking. would a dog be called a tree walker? Well, because they were bred to Walk chase, the tree. <laughs> chase the bears trees. up trees. Okay. okay. Um, he's very sweet. He's a little shy to new people, but once he warms up, he is the sweetest guy. Does great with <laughs> dogs. Loves friends. Does well with cats. People, shy, very shy. Very shy, but once you <coughs> know you, he's very sweet. Yes. Uh, fenced in run. Yes, he loves to run. Loves to run, lots of exercise. We'll probably have to be on a leash. Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely on a leash, yes. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, it's nice to say hello to me, isn't it? Well, I, my, I know, I, my, shoe, my boots probably smell very doggy, which is always a good introduction, isn't it? I just want you to say hello to me. Oh, that's okay. So I think people would have to have quite a bit. How old is he? He's about two years. About two years old. Yeah, so he hasn't had a very good start. No, he hasn't, so, unfortunately. No. So he wants a wonderful, loving, patient home with a good um, fenced-in yard. What about other dogs? He does great with other dogs. He oh, loves good. playing. And that would probably be very good for him, actually. You know, yes. Some confidence. And um, so hopefully another dog, maybe his size, roughly, because he's sort of biggish to bounce around with something small. Yeah. Um, and definitely somebody with um, a lot of love for him and a lot of patience um, to, uh, bring him, to bring him to the stage where he's not frightened of people. And we as people are to blame for the fact that he's frightened of us. So, yeah, you look so happy. Look at his beautiful there. ears. Oh, yes. You have beautiful, beautiful ears. ears. It's very lovely. Yes. And I think just with a lot of love and patience and thoughtfulness and lovely exercise and hopefully a companion to play with, I think in a few months or a year's time, he will be a different dog. He will. Well, uh, he probably always maybe have a few little, you know, tweaks about yeah. things. But the best of us do. We, I was just about to say, we all <laughs> do have a few little He's tweaks, so it's nothing new. <laughs> yes. He's <laughs> feeling braver. Look at him. Isn't he handsome? He's feeling braver. Oh, yes. And he's terribly Good boy. handsome. Aren't you, sweetheart? Yes. So if you have a lot of love and a lot of patience and um, a lot of understanding, um... And, well, not a lot, 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 but just enough. Please, give him a home. Give him a home, because he needs it very badly. Isn't that right, dear? Hounds are so sweet. How handsome he is. Look, it's that one beautiful background of the snow and the trees and this handsome guy in front. <laughs> Come and see him. Today, tomorrow. Oh, are we open on Sundays? We are not open on Sundays. No, we're not open on Sundays. Tuesday to Saturday. Tuesday to Saturday. How brave you are! Oh, yes, he said. I'm not sure Look about this brave. guy being looking at me. Oh, he's he's <coughs> good. <laughs> okay. Don't you love? I love the sound of a hound. Oh, it's very okay. Hounds are great. Okay, are. please come and see him. Okay. Okay, Charles. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Give us a little go. Yep, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so this is Sophie. Isn't she cute? Yes, so Sophie's five years old. She's a miniature miniature pincher. Pincher mix. Yes. So but pinchers are quite big, aren't they? Right. She's a miniature version. Yes, she's a, yes, exactly. Well, where there we are. But yes, yeah, she's very fit. Lovely, yes. And so um, she's looking for a home. She's a little 
fussy about her, her, her new home. But, oh, that's all right. We can all be fussy about our homes. She would not like to be with children. Um, or cat. C-A-T-S. Um, or D-O-G-S. Right. right. So, we are just an only dog, please. We want all the attention. Uh, we love lots of lovely walks. And um, I have to be quite gentle. Not too sudden. Isn't that right? Yes, yes, that's lovely. She likes conversation. Um, and, uh, no, she, she, likes, she likes the sunshine. I know whether you've got a window where she could lie there in the sunshine on a day like this if she's not outside. Um, long, lovely walks, definitely, for us. Um, and lots of companionship. But um, she'd probably be all right if you people, somebody's at work. Oh, she'd yes. She'd be all right? Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, she's very amenable, really, as long as she has the things that she doesn't like, she doesn't have those, uh, and the things that she does like, she has those. Isn't that right? And we do like a lot of love, a lot of attention. We'd be quite happy to sleep on your bed at night. Um, but if that's not possible, we would probably like a very comfortable bed, maybe lined with sheepskin. Um, you know, to, to lie next to your bed. Um, and then, as I say, in this uh, weather, lots of lovely walks in the sunshine. And then in the evenings, a nice fire to bask by. Um, then we love our food. Um, not too much of it, but we're very, uh, we, we enjoy our food. Um, well, yes, we're quite fussy, really, but <laughs> very amenable. And de really, really, really want a home. <laughs> so, um, Sophie, hi. And I, I, I love the looks of her because um, it's, she's just a very neat little dog, isn't she? She is. I mean, her. She's very well. Um, you know, her everything fits in together. She's got a neat little tail at the back and like the ears. And uh, no, I think this is a great dog. And I have a feeling that she might be best off for. So people who don't obviously don't have children, right? Um, and she's she's five, so she's got plenty of you know plenty of get up and go. Um, so I can't really say anything other than that. Um, I personally think she would suit an older couple who um, would like some doggy company. And yes. it, the other thing I find since I'm older that uh, it's wonderful to have a dog because. It forces you, even in the cold weather, when, I mean, it's cold now, but if it's not a very nice day, I am forced by my dog to go out for a walk. Yep. Which is very, very good for me. And I, so I just think it's very good for everybody to be, because I can't get away with not going for a walk <laughs> because my dog is lying on the so her sofa, looking at me and saying, well, I want to go out. Yep. And I don't know about anybody else, but I can't say no to my dog. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's very, it's a very good uh, sort of partnership, isn't it, sweetheart? So uh, no, Sophie. no children, Hi. no dogs, no cats. Hi. Just please take me home as an only dog, and I will love you desperately forever. And what's she's in here somewhere? Oh, you're very say, and I rather like cameras. Yes. Yeah, yes. she's good. I think I could probably learn how to work one. Isn't that right, sweetheart? This one, yes. for, for sure. So please, come and see her. She really needs to get out of here and get into her own space. She would love that very she much. Would. Yes, she would. Come on, Sophie! Oh, look at her posing like that. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> Hello. This is Ruby. This is Jake. Jake here. Hello. He's the friendliest guy ever. Oh, okay. so here we have Jake. Isn't he handsome? Lovely shiny coat and he's very friendly. And when I told him he was going to be on the camera, he was very pleased. And as you can see, he's sort of uh, posing there in front of the camera. Isn't that right? And the tail is wagging. And what else can you tell us about him? Well, he's about six years old. He's uh, a pit bull mix. Yes. Uh, wants to be an only child in his house. <laughs> <laughs> no other dogs yes, or cats. No other dogs or cats. Okay, especially cats. Probably. Especially no. cats. No, but anybody. Yes, all right. 
Yes. We but he does good with children. He wants all the attention. Yes, he does. Yeah, and he's sorry with children. He's good. He's good with children. Good with children. Excellent. Um, and uh, all probably old people too. He'd be oh, good yeah. with. Good with anybody, it seems to me. Yes, very much oh, so. He's so. And sweet. he just wants a home. Is there a reason that he's come here? It just didn't work out in his last household because of cats. Oh, okay. Well, we don't like cats. Okay, I better see it. Yes, perhaps we better not mention that. <laughs> That's fair enough. I mean, we all have people that we don't like very much. Um, Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've obviously got dogs at home. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, look at that. Good boy. Very good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You are a good boy, aren't you? Yes. He says, of course I'm a good boy. And I'm a very handsome boy too. And I'm a very loving boy. And I love walkies. And uh, that walkies. Yes. And... Yes. Good boy. And I love playing, and uh, I love a good fire to lie in front of too in this cold weather. Not a day like today, I want to be out walking, but sometimes when it's nasty, or most, I just run in the evenings and things like that, I would, I'd like to have it all. Of course, the best thing, to, the best thing of all is a bed to, to lie on. Yes. But, you know, that's up to, that's up to you. Get to but, your face. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good boy you are. You like talking, don't you? Yes, you do. And he's a great, as you can see, a great conversationalist. Now, how about we turn around and have Come here, buddy. Jake. Come on, Jakey. Come on, Jakey. Have there our front go. end oh, rather than our back oh. end. I wonder if I have treats in my pocket. <laughs> no. Nope. That's right. Look at the camera. Can you? Yeah. Yes. He's yes. good. You smell my boots? Yes. Yes. Oh, gosh. Good doggy smells there. Yes, and a bitch too, so. <laughs> <laughs> Although he's been fixed. So anyway, so please come and see him because once you just see him, you'll just want to cuddle him and have him with you forever. Please, give him a hug. <laughs> so. So. Good boy. Good boy. Down, down. No, down, down, down. <laughs> Oh, look Good at that. Boy. Oh, clever. He's very he's smart and quick to now. learn. Yes, yeah. He's excited. A nice yes. dog. Yes, he's a lovely dog. He'll make you a wonderful companion. Please come and take him home. Is that, that true, right? huh? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got him. It follows the. Okay, what about over follows. here? Good boy. Jake? Good boy. He Oops. says, I don't know what you're all talking about, but. Remember, we're talking, talking about, about you, me. Jake. He said, yes, I want to go and play in that snow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah, he loves digging in the snow. Does he? Isn't oh, yeah. Funny? Hoping to find a bone down there, perhaps. He's trying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mine, mine actually have found some bones. Right. Oh, lovely dog. Please come and take him home. He shouldn't be here. Of course, they look after them, him wonderfully here, but he needs his own people and his, or his own person and his own home and his own dog bed and yes and his own happiness <laughs> it's cute <laughs> all right oh yeah. mr adventure <laughs> there he goes right okay good girl oh good all girl right. so this is shayla isn't she a darling oh yes she's very 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 affectionate and uh, what else can you tell us about her? Uh, she is a hound husky mix. Hound husky. That's yep. interesting. She's six years old. Wow. She looks very young. Yes. Shayla, you look very young for six. She's very sweet. Loves people. Yes. She uh, doesn't want any other dogs in the house. No, no she dogs. She wants all the attention. Right. Okay. Cats? No cats. No dogs, no cats. Just Shayla. Well, that's fair enough. And I me, mean, she knows her own mind, don't you, sweetheart? Hey. Oh, she said, what's that? <laughs> yes, she's very pretty. Oh, look, that. and does she, you sit? Good girl. Can you lie down? Shayla, can you lie down? She said, what are you talking about? <laughs> and who are you talking to? She said, I don't like being bossed around. You going to sit down for a minute and look at us, look at the camera and say hi to everybody. Hi. Yes, that's right. That's right. Oh, she's a sweetheart. What was that you wanted to say to me? Oh, yes. I, I, I really like being on people's beds at night. 
but it's not a, I don't have to but if there's any possibility of it oh yes, yes you'd love that I'm a good cuddler and in these cold winter nights I, you know it, I'm a wonderful person to keep you warm but you know would you accept you know you'll accept a nice a nice bed somewhere oh I love the white can you see those Paula she's got white eyelashes oh look at that look at that isn't that beautiful you got oh, white that's eyelashes. a husky probably yes yeah. yes so uh, I like this dog so. she just sort of yes she's uh, I think she's very I, th I get the feeling she's very amenable um, uh, what, what was that oh okay loves walks yes two or three a day would do um, I'm quite sure one would do but you know on the other hand short ones yes uh, loves car rides yep yes and um, you know after a while would be, te be able to tell you where you're going when you're going to the grocery or something grocers or something like that she'd be able to tell you go, go right here go left there yes a bit bossy are you a little bit bossy perhaps yes so, yeah, no, no, oh 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 Oh, I like being scratched, do you, darling? Yes. Oh, lovely. Yes, so you can see we like attention. But, um, we're, uh, so was she alone a lot in her last home? Yes, she was, unfortunately. Yes, so I think that's why she needs company now. She, she needs a home where there's going to be people around. Children? Yep, she does good with children. Oh, nice. Yes. And, um, yeah, a, a, but no other dogs. No other dogs. And no cats. Oh, sorry, C-A-T-S. That's right. No, I think this is a wonderful dog. I think she'd make a great family dog. Um, or oh, a single dog, whichever. Um, but as long as we, you know, we have a walkie every day. Preferably two or three. But we're happy with one. And um, just lo lots of love. And who doesn't? Yeah, what better can any of us do? Right. A nice walkie every day and a lot of love. And, um, yes, they smell good, don't they, sweetheart? So, yes, I like this dog. I think she's, I say, I think she's very amenable. Whatever you say, come on, let's do this. Shall I? Yeah, yeah, okay, here I am. <laughs> come on, let's go for a walk. Let's go. Okay, go for a little walk inside. Bye-bye, Sheila. I hope you're not here next time I come. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm introducing Hubie. Um, Hubie is your what, pit bull mix, we said? Pit bull mix, right? yeah. Isn't he handsome? He's got this gorgeous, shining brown coat. Um, he's very, very handsome dog. And he's how old, James? Uh, he's about a year and a half old. Yes. Um, and has he got any, probably not cats? Uh, he does fine with cats. No, he does fine and with And he does cats? fine with some dogs, pending some dogs. Into introduction. You don't know what sort of dogs he got. Big dogs, small dogs? Uh, we're not sure yet. No. It's kind of just been yes. some he does, some he doesn't. Yes. Well, that's like people, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. sometimes you don't like people. Okay. So that's fair enough. <laughs> yes. That, isn't that right? Um, lots of exercise. Lots of lots exercise. Of He's exercise. got a ton of energy. Yes, you can tell that. And he needs to. Yes. So if you're a hiker, here's the guy for you. Oh, yes. That's up the mountains and down the other side. Isn't that right, sweetheart? And uh, other, did we mention other dogs? Other? Uh, he does good with most other dogs. Most other dogs, as if he's introduced, yes. And, um, yes. So, uh, what do you think, sweetheart? Uh, but he seems to have a very, I mean, he's very bouncy because he just needs a lot of exercise. Um, or he needs to be in a nice big run with a lot of other, with other dogs, not a lot, but other dogs that he can run around and play with. He likes playing. Um, I think he'd also do very well at agility classes, um, and what was the other thing you mentioned, Paula? Um, obedience and fly ball. Obedience, yes, anything like that. Yeah. Because he's very bright too, and I he's think this, very smart. this dog needs to use his brain to be really happy and contented. He needs to be doing something. So, um, you know, maybe, so I said classes, not, obviously if you're working not every day, but um, something and good walks every day so that he's a little tired in the evening um, <laughs> I like him I don't know there's just something about him. he's got the sweetest face haven't you darling this dog definitely has lab look. in him oh, there's yeah. no question yes yes it's the ears coat, and the face it? it's very lovely beautiful. Yeah. lovely color 
Yes. And he's very sweet. Incredibly lovely. people friendly. Yes. He's such a good boy. Loves you people. You think he'd be good with older children? Uh, yes. He's a bit bouncy for younger children. He is. He might but, knock them yes. over, but older <laughs> yes. kids, he would love them. Lovely. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Uh, and then he'd love to, you know, join Aww. in, uh, you know, hockey, ga soccer, soccer games and um, all of those things. Yes. And, and lots, as I say, lots of lovely long walks. If you can't manage to, long walks every time, a short walk. And he would really like to have a companion to play with because he has a lot of ex mm -hmm. lot of energy. This a lot time. of energy. I can feel it. On the other hand, right now, he says, oh, I'm just very happy leaning against Roz. Um, <laughs> she smells right, you know, doggy. And um, she's got nice soft trousers. And, and, and I, you know, and I'm a bit of a softie myself. I can tell that. I can. I can tell that. So this is a wonderful dog. Uh, give him lots of exercise, lots of love, uh, a companion or two if you like, and uh, you will have the best time with this dog. I just like him. There's something about him that, that says to me, because he's leaning against me and <laughs> oh dear, I want to take him home. He is really, so really come great. and meet him because to see him and meet him is to love him. And that's all he loves. He says, I need a lot of love. That's right, isn't it, darling? And I just could, I'd love to see him doing agility classes. I think he would be absolutely fabulous. And, and, and he'd win every single one, wouldn't you, sweetheart? His tail go has not stopped. Go home with a ribbon. No, it never does. No, yes. no he's a tail wagger. Yep. Yes. yes. Yeah, I love that. Yes. Join the tail waggers club. Yeah. <laughs> Today was a tail wagging club day, yes. for sure. <laughs> Yeah, we've had Yay. some good ones. We had so yes. many of them. Yes. yes. <laughs> you yeah. are sweet. Yeah. Oh, what nice I dogs. This. I, I, like, I love this dog. This is a much. really good dog. Yes. Take him home, please, everybody. <laughs> somebody, somebody. Come. Somebody will. I have dogs. Yes, him. I do. Yes. I do. I know. We all smell right, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like okay, this guy. So that's it for our dogs, right? Yes. Cool. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Cool. Well, look who we have here. Now, isn't that a hand? I, I think it's a guy. Was it? It's a guy, Sputnik. Sputnik. Well, Sputnik, as we say in uh, my language. Okay. Sp Sputnik. Isn't he handsome? Hello, sweetheart. He said, I'm not sure about this thing pointing us. First of all, you reveal my hiding place where I was very happily snoozing, and then you point this black thing at me. I'm not sure about this at all. Well, oops, sorry, Sputnik. Well, I wouldn't worry, Sputnik. I think, oh, let me tell you about Sputnik. I'm just going to go over here. Hey, so Sputnik is, uh, he was born 11, 11, 07. So he's not a young cat, but he's very lively, very affectionate, would really, a bit shy. Of course, I've revealed his hiding place now. He's a bit fed up with that. You know, you don't want to sniff me? Good guy. Aren't you a sweetheart? But he is a sweetheart, and he's longing for a new home. What was that you had to say, Spunny? So he said to me, yeah, you smell right. I could go home with you, but I'm afraid I can't take you home, sweetheart. But I know that there's somebody looking at you right now and thinking, that is about the handsomest cat I have ever seen. And I really want to go over to the Lucy Mackenzie Humane Society and make sure that I can bring him home with me. Because, let me see, he's, just, he's not that old. Cats live for a long, long time. And uh, he's very amenable. I mean, he says, I really don't want anything, need anything very much except a, a nice, um, you know, sunny window to sit in front of, especially in this cold weather. Um, and a nice, maybe a fire in the evenings. Um, if I can't have a fire, maybe a radiator or something like that, that I can, I like to keep warm. And then in the summer, I like to keep cool. Um, and in the spring and fall, again, I like my sunny window. Um, and I like, I like to chat to people, isn't that right? Um, and I want, you know, if you work, I'd be very happy at the end of the day to hear about how your day went. Was it a good day? Was it a bad day? And, you know, if it's been a bad day, then I would advise you to make a cup of tea or coffee and sit on the sofa and let me come and sit on your lap. And immediately you will feel better. 
and realise that, you know, life isn't so bad because I'm there, me, Sputnik. So please think about taking him home. I really like this cat. I don't know why, but my heart has just gone out to him and uh, I would love to see him in his own happy home. Maybe. Okay, so this is Thistle. Hello, Thistle. So Thistle is three years old. Um, she's quite a character. She doesn't like to be touched, really. So you would um, have a, a cat that's sort of stalking around the place and obviously would get very fond of you and you very fond of her, but she's not, not the sort of pick up cuddly sort. Although I wouldn't put it past this that you're sitting on the sofa watching TV one night for her to come after a while, for her to jump up on the sofa beside you. Not necessarily wanting to be cuddled by you, but just sitting there. I, I, I bet myself that that will happen. But anyway, she's very sweet, very pretty, don't you think? Lovely with that fluffy grey hair. A very self-possessed cat. And, um... Oh, she likes her food and she likes would like a sunny window to sit by in the winter time and maybe a, um, if you have an enclosed patio in the summer she would probably like to be out there watching the leaves rustling and all of that sort of thing um, but um, don't let her out because cats kill a huge amount of birds millions of them every year it's very sad um, but she could watch them and that would be it. But I like this cat. I, I must say, I love her self-possession. And um, she's very beautiful. And she knows it. And look at her showing off like that. I think you need a bit of a, a, rug, a rug brush down too, Thistle. But I'm sure you wouldn't like that either. And she has a wonderful room here where she can see out, see what's going on out there in the YA. Um, so please, if you think that you just have the right home for Thistle, um, a cat that, you know, like Rudyard Kipling said, the cat that walks by itself, that's her. And, uh, but a great companion uh, in that she's, she's around, but she doesn't bother you, just likes her food. And um, she, she, I think she does like company, uh, as long as it's not too close. So please come and see Thistle, you'll love her. <laughs> So now's the time to say goodbye, sadly. Uh, we hope, Paul behind the camera and Rob in front, we hope very much that you will come and see all these wonderful animals we've been talking about and showing to you. They all need homes. Please, please think about it. Hello, my darling. And so this is uh, Joanna and Jane and Roz and Paula behind the camera saying have a wonderful, wonderful week, month, year, and please don't ever forget us in Lucy Mac. Um, we do need your help. We need anything that you can give us, as well as money, but, you know, your help. Uh, with all sorts of things, just give us a call and we have plenty for you to do. Because what we, the people here, the staff here, just do a wonderful job. And it's very often a very difficult job. So from us all, <laughs> staff and camera people and chitter chatter and old lady in front. We say <laughs> goodbye, have a wonderful month. We will see you next month. Uh, oh, don't forget Thank March you. the 25th. Thank you. And um, yeah, so take care, drive carefully, and above all, love your four-legged friend. Or I don't know, it could be a snake or a hamster or anything, but sure, give it lots of love, okay? <laughs> okay. So goodbye from us all, bye. <laughs> <laughs>